morning um how are you doing today hope you are doing great okay my name is miss bosse and today in mathematics we are having um, division of weights division of weights division of weights is just like the way we divide our numbers we divide our numbers 10 20 that's the same way we divide weights too it will still give you the same answers so division of weights now let's take the division itself division has three names it has um three names they are dividend divisor and the quotient the dividend the divisor and the quotient so the dividend the dividend is the number you are dividing dividend is the number you are dividing for instance you wanted to divide 20 kilograms of rice the 20 there is the dividend because the number you want to divide is called the dividend now the divisor the divisor is the number you are dividing by the divisor is the number you are dividing by for instance you wanted to divide um, 20 kilograms of rice by two the two is called the divisor the two is called the divisor so the divisor breaks the dividend into smaller groups that means the two breaks the 20 kg into smaller groups so that is the divisor now the quotient the quotient is the answer you've gotten after you finish dividing the answer you've gotten after you finish dividing is called the quotient for instance you divided 20 kilograms of rice by two so the answer is um 10 so the 10 kilograms is called the quotient so after you finish dividing the answer you've gotten is called the quotient so let's see a clip to know to know more on a division Hello kids and welcome to the division gym today. I need your help to learn about the vocabulary used when we talk about division. Can you guys help me? Great, let's get started as soon as I, uh oh. Ouch, I'm okay. Here is a division problem. And just like multiplication, the numbers used in division have certain names. Today we are going to learn the names we use to describe these, but unlike multiplication, all three numbers have separate names. Do not worry though, because we will practice with all three. The 15 in this equation is called the dividend. The dividend is the number you are dividing. So in this example, let's say we have 15 balls. The 15 balls are the dividend. The number three in the problem is called the divisor. This is the number we are dividing by. The divisor takes the dividend and breaks it into smaller groups. In this problem, let's say we have three kids that want to share the 15 balls. The three in the problem is the divisor. The number five is the answer and we call this the quotient. This is the number that we get after dividing the dividend by the divisor. So in this example, the 15 balls are the dividend and we need to split them between three kids. The three kids are the divisor and are the ones breaking the 15 balls into smaller groups. The balls are now split evenly into groups of five. Do you remember what the answer is called in a division problem? It is called the quotient. Great job, kids. There are several ways to write a division problem. Let's take a quick look. Here we have three ways to write a division problem. This division problem is exactly the same as the one above. The 15 is the dividend and is found inside this division box. The three is the divisor and the five above the division box is the quotient also known as the answer. Let's look at one last way to show a division problem. Again, this problem is the same as the one above. The 15 is the dividend and is on top of a division bar. The three is the divisor in the problem, 
and the number five is the quotient. Today we learned a lot of new vocabulary with division, and you guys did awesome. If you ever forget. Okay, so those are the vocabularies in division. Now, in a case where the number is big, is large, so we use what we call long division. We use what we call them long division to divide. So that's in that way to help us to divide it um, easily. Now, there are four steps in long division. There are four steps in long division. Step one, you divide. Step two, you multiply. Step three, you subtract. Step four, you bring down. Let me take that again. Step one, you uh, divide. Step two, you multiply. Step three, you subtract. Step four, you bring down. So you repeat it again until you've gotten a, of, until the remainder is zero, or the remainder is less than the divisor. So let me show you a picture to see more on a um, long division.